Hey everybody, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com and today we're going to take a look at Top Shelf, the library for creating Windows services. So if you've ever created a Windows service using the default template in Visual Studio, which ultimately uses the service base class that you um, extend, it's a nightmare to debug. Basically you have to run the application after you've built it, then in Visual Studio attach to an external process, then you can start debugging. And it's pretty much a nightmare. So Top Shelf takes out um, all the hassle with this. It's really easy to use, so let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so for this example I'm going to refer to um, another video that I had that showed how to self-host a web API project. So that's kind of my base um, for this demo is is I have I'm using Katana and I have a console application that when I run it um, is basically running the HTTP listener and then if I open up my browser I can see that I'm actually running this uh, API controller here so this is going to be the base that I'm going to use to to set up Top Shelf so that I could run this as a service. So let's go ahead and install the Top Shelf NuGet package. So in the Package Manager console, I'm just going to install Package Top Shelf. And that was pretty quick, thankfully. So now the next step is going to be actually in our main, in our um, entry point here to our application. This is where we're actually going to configure Top Shelf and the service. All right, so the first thing let's do is we're going to create a class um, that's going to have our start and stop method that is going to be called by top shelf. So what we're going to want that to do is actually start the web server here. So let's create a new file called web server. And let's make a new start and stop method. So let's do... stop method that will just dispose alright so this is gonna be our web server class now I'm gonna jump back to the program and we can get rid of this code now and let's call top shelf so we can use the host factory run which has a delegate um, and then here let's call our service which we call the web server um, so what we can do is we're going to construct say using our new web server um, and what we want to do we can specify when it starts which method we actually want it to run so we're going to call our start method that we created. Uh, we'll do the same for when it stops. Uh, so that's pretty much the basics of what we want to do when we how to start and stop it. We'll tell top shelf as well as let's say we'll run as the local system for this um, the service and some other typical things that you might want to do is maybe like the service name, the display name, the description so let's do set description uh, maybe we'll set the display name and as well as the service name Oops. All right, that's pretty much it. So basically, this when we run right now is going to run like a normal console application, just like we were prior to making any of these modifications. The difference being now is that we can actually call this executable uh, and register it as a service. So I'm going to create a breakpoint in our controller. Uh, and just run it just to show you that it's just a regular console application and we can break just like we normally would. 
So we are running. So let's jump over to our browser again and let's reload this. And we can see we're hitting our breakpoint. So just a normal console app. And actually, if we look at the console app, we can see some debug information from top shelf now. Alright, so the last thing I want to show here is running our executable from the command line and the different options that you have there, such as installing your service and running it. So from PowerShell, if we run our application but specify the help option, we get a list of command line references and different things we can do such as run, install, start, stop, uninstall. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install this service. So let's install it. And we can see that we got it installed. So what I'm going to do is actually open up this services window here and let's refresh this window. And now we can see we got we our top shelf demo app. So let's actually start it from here. And now that it is, we can go back over to our browser and rerun it and we can see that our service is up and running. So that's the basics of Top Shelf. Uh, I recommend taking a look at their documentation. There's a lot more you can do with it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more .NET related videos, please subscribe.